Okay, today I'm going to show you how to take your simple homemade bread to the next level. Today we're going to do two of our favorites, jalapeno cheese and rosemary and olive oil. But first, let's go over the basics, ingredients for the bread. All right. I'm going to start today with a basic bread recipe. I'm not going to do the whole process of it because there are plenty of videos out there for baking bread. But I'm going to give you my version of what I like to use. Seven to eight cups of flour. I'll start with six in my bowl and add as needed to get the texture and smoothness that I want. And two tablespoons of yeast. I'm using Fleshman's Instant Dry Yeast. It just gives me a quicker rise and you can use any kind of yeast you like. It just depends on how long you want to rise. Two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of salt, which you add at the opposite side of the bowl than the yeast. Because until the mixture and everything gets all moisture and everything together, the salt's not good for the yeast one on one. We're using two cups of milk, or you can use water. It's just I like the way milk brings the texture and flavor to my bread. Two tablespoons of oil, any type. Today I'm using olive oil. And I like to put in one egg that gives it a better texture and smoothness too. Okay, and when we come back, we'll be working on other types okay. of breads. My dough is rested for 10 minutes and it's nice and soft. You where it kind of bounces back, pretty good. I'm going to take, for the first, I'm just going to divide this up. Back over there. Put this back on it to keep it moist. Put a little bit of flour on my table here. Put that on there. Split. Spread it out some. I've grated up two cups of cheese. Chopped up two kind of large jalapenos. I don't know if I'm going to use that all of it. What are you making? Making jalapeno cheese bread. Spread that out a bit. Put some jalapenos on there. Probably use half of it. That's a good piece. And start mixing that in a bit. Flatten it back out again. Now I'm going to add cheese. Start kneading it into the dough. The jalapenos got a lot of juice on them. They're kind of wet. Just it in. Start kneading it in there. Got some cheese in the pocket. Could you have done this in the mixer? Well, I probably could have done this in the mixer. Right now I've got dough in it. <laughs> Just want to get that mixed in really good. So how long do you think you're going to have to keep it? Oh, probably about three or four minutes. A little more flour. Things that you can put into your dough. 
then this a uh, lot of different things you can put into your bread. Uh, you like cheese and onion. Um, sky's the limit. You could. Oh, I like to put nuts in it too. Uh, one of my favorite breads. I put some flax seeds, some sunflower seeds, and some chopped up walnuts, or even pumpkin seeds is really good. In there. And then you work it like this. Yeah, just get it worked into the dough. A little bit wet from the jalapenos. Almost there. You want a nice soft dough. your loaf. Not real particular. Now I take my bread pans and I like to line them with parchment paper. It's a lot easier to clean up and they don't stick. Now like I said I'm using instant yeast so this will be set aside to raise for 30 minutes and then bake. Okay, our second loaf is going to be an, an Italian theme to do it. We've got rosemary that we grew in our garden. I'm just crushing it between my hands, breaking it up some. About a tablespoon? There's about a tablespoon there. A little more on the table. Okay, so I've got my flour. Here's my dough. You see how soft and just love dough. <laughs> but I like to spread this out some. And today with the rosemary we're going to use olive oil. Any brand will do. <laughs> if you like a specific brand or you could probably even add uh, garlic to this. That that get good. Some garlic and sprinkle this in there. Mm -hmm. Get some more of that noodle. Fold it over. <laughs> Oil's trying to spill out. Kind of start. Kneading that all into it. You can also, instead of making loaves of bread like this, you can turn them into bread rolls. Um, one time I made these for a function at the college, local college, and I made little bow knots and Put them in there and those went over so well. Of course living in New Mexico the jalapeno cheese went over the best. <laughs> if you're using fresh rosemary you probably use oh quarter cup or you know as I'm using my dry didn't want to so stronger overpower the See, this one's mixing a lot easier than that other one because of all the... And if you wanted to sprinkle stuff on top of your loaves, you could um, brush it with egg, an egg wash, or even milk. And you say if you wanted to put sesame seeds or nuts on top of your loaves, it helps it to uh, stick better. Could probably even do water. Yeah, I've got that oil in there. Of course, you know, the basic dough had olive oil in it. Okay. 
and then you can there's little bits of rosemary throughout the whole walls okay and I think that's about good enough kind of shape it into a loaf where I'm pinching this together that'll go on the bottom okay these will sit and rise for about oh, 30 minutes so they're right near the top of the pan all the way around and they'll rise a little more in the oven okay let me push that one over here Here's the rosemary. We'll probably brush it with um, olive oil before we bake it. And this one here, I'll probably brush with butter before I bake it. And uh, we'll be back when they're all done. Okay, here's the finished. This one's the uh, jalapeno and ch cheese. I used the uh, uh, Kobe Jack cheese in this one. And this one here is the uh, rosemary and olive oil. I brush this one with butter. I brush this one with a combination of butter and olive oil. Baked it at 350 for 30 minutes. And they're completely cool now. You don't want to cut it till they're cool. Oh, look at that. Cutting it kind of thin, aren't I? Oh, well. Yeah, let me show you that. Nice crumb. You can see, I, I chopped the jalapenos up fairly, fairly thin. Yeah, you can see the streaks of cheese, bits of jalapeno in there. Pretty mm -hmm. good. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, okay. Let's slice the other one. <laughs> we got a taste. Oh, go ahead. Take a bite. <laughs> yeah, probably the only bite I'll ever get, huh? Yeah, yeah, the low carb, you're not supposed to have this, so. Oh my smells god. Good. There's a whole carb probably. Mm, that's good. So it did come out good? Mm hmm Okay. I'll suffer through the next one for you. Mm -hmm. Could probably use more jalapeno. Always. I used it all. Always. <laughs> Let me get a shake on the camera here. Mm -hmm. and here's there we go. Oh, I can really smell that one. Let's see, you can see them little green bits in there. That's the rosemary. Gives you really nice flavor. Mm. Mm. That's great. Mm. So, surprise the hubby tonight. <laughs> mm. Smell that. Mm. Put some garlic butter on there and toast it. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good. Yum, yum, yum. Well, I hope you give it a try. And like I said, you could do cheese and onion. There's just so many combinations you can do. So. It's all very thanks. easy to do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.